Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to day number 10. In today's video for Advert of Cyber, we're gonna be talking about SQL injections. My favorite, not. But let's jump into the desktop and have some fun and let's see how far we can get today. Hey guys, here's my desktop. So just a little insight, I forgot to hit record on my stream deck. So here we go again. I was talking for 20 minutes and realized I wasn't recording, but now I am just making sure. I don't know. I was such in a rush this morning, but so anyhow, we'll do this really quick. Obviously, the learning objectives today is to learn about SQL injections, learn about the vulnerabilities and exploit them and then bring the defaced website. Since now I know because I just did it back to normal. Right. So we'll do this really, really quick. Hopefully, you know, SQL. This is the ottomans. These are all the, the, the rows that our SQL, you know, tables have from select where join blah 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 and i don't want to read all this again i'm really exhausted i'm sorry so let's just go straight down to the business right so let's we opened up the website here right it's defaced as we can see so what we can do on here we can like meet the elves for an example if we come down we can search let's search for new uh search for my gift so if we come down here we can say okay toys and let's just do what they say. Let's put 30, right? And hit search, oh, I hit 20, but that's fine. So we can see 20 gifts here, right? Yo-yo, color, blah, 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 colorful, building blocks. And as we can come down here, we can see if it's susceptible to a, a vulnerability by injecting it, right? So let's go, let's take out children or child here. And then let's put, whoops hit enter and then we get a error here and as it shows here we get this error so take a screenshot of this this is going to be really really important later okay so let's continue here let's just keep coming down although we don't have access to the source code at this point we can um visualize what it, what the underlying php script might look like so this is the underlying script that it's going to look like behind the scenes okay so now let's attempt to leverage a sql injection on a payload from the earlier thing so let's go ahead and just open up a new page i want to open up a new page here and then let's just take this space for one equals one right and we can see now we can see a massive amount of all the toys and as you see down here there's a flag keep that in mind because we're going to need that for later on just hold that thought right so we're going to go ahead and open up another tab i know i'm going a little fast because i just did all this and i'm really irritated all right so we can see the call uh calling store procedures uh xp underscore uh cmd shell this is pretty much we can interact with a shell a command shell with the SQL within the SQL server, right? And here we here we can see it right here, right? So we we come down, we can start injecting. So let's go ahead and just take this piece of code and we can copy this and we can just paste it here. Not there. And that's the other flag. Let's go ahead and paste that here. And let's do a control C. Control A, Control C. And then let's go ahead and just, let's go ahead and make another page just so we don't lose that and paste it here, right? Let's go down. What was that? I'm trying to figure out where I was because I click on something and I got, uh, do, 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 do. let's come down here. Here we go. We're right here. So let's go ahead and paste that here and hit enter and see if anything happens. All right, so the gift search results, nothing happened when I did that. So now what we can do is re remote code execution. So we can create a payload in order for us to upload this payload onto the server. And then we can listen in with Netcat and execute that code on that server to call back home to our attacker machine. All right, so that's pretty much what we're gonna do here. Let's go ahead and uh, let's just make this bigger. And if I do the up arrow, let's see if I do history. Is it still here or 
Yeah, I, I already, I already, uh, I'm gonna do an LS. Yeah, I already reloaded it. Okay, that's not a problem. Let's just go ahead and copy this. I don't feel like typing all this stuff out again. Go ahead and paste this in here. And then we can copy this. And then we can paste this onto our local machine. Paste this here. Obviously, we have to change some of the parameters here for our local, our local IP address here. So let's remove this. Oops, list equals listening. Oh my God. Listening host equals to our attacker machine. So in my case, it's 10.10.66.142. Okay, and everything else looks good. So let's hit enter here and we'll create that payload. And once that payload is created, we'll go ahead and set up an HTTP server in order for us to uh, host this payload. And then we can go back into our website and download the payload onto the server. Once the payload is onto the server, then we can have Netcat listening for any incoming connections from the payload. And then once we execute that payload, we'll have a phone back home to our attack machine. So now if we do an LS here, we have this reverse.exe here. Perfect. So now let's just do Python, whoops. Uh, Python, why is it my keyboard? Python 3-m HTTP server.server and 8,000. In my case <clears throat> and then we can come back here hmm. and then we can try to upload this right so we're going to go ahead and just copy this insert util dash uh, url cache it's just pretty much going to um let me hit use sublime real quick i just want to can i use this it's it's fine can I copy paste this? All right, so let me just put my, oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, let's try this again. Let me copy this. <clears throat> paste this here. Gosh, why isn't it pasting? Let's try this one more time. Copy. Paste. Okay, I guess I can just do this here too. And my IP address is 10.10.66.142. Right, so we can just copy this. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to our browser. Right, so let's go back to the browser and. All right, who cares about that? All right, so now what we can do is let's replace this. Come on. Man, what is going, why is it so slow? Right, because a million people are on here right now. All right, so let's go ahead and come here. And then paste. and hit enter here. Once we hit enter, we're gonna go ahead and upload that to the server into our Windows temp directory, right? So the next thing we need to do, because now if we come back here, we can probably see, come here, we probably have a get, here we go. Now we can kill this with a control C, and now we can do netcat listener. So we can do an nc dash l and VP and then 4444 because that's what the payload <clears throat> port that we enabled. So let's go ahead and just copy this. Once we execute this, we should get a shell. All right, so let's come back here to our Firefox and remove this. I don't know why it's so slow. Uh, I know, I know why it's slow, but it just sucks 
because I just did this and now that's why I'm annoyed. So you get, you don't even, you can only understand how frustrated I am right now. This is a lot slower now than when I was doing it. So it's like, ah, oh man, you know, did I already copy this? I don't remember. No. So let's uh, copy this. Copy this, bring this in, and then we're going to paste this. And once we paste this, this thing is annoying me. Paste. All right, let's hit enter here. And once we execute this, we should get a shell back. Let's, there we go. So now we're on that machine, right? So we could do who am I? Now we're on that machine. So let's keep coming down. We can restore the website and the CD users. So let's go ahead and just do CD, C, colon, backslash users, DIR. And we can see conclusion. All right, cool deal. So now we can start answering the questions. Obviously I did this already. So manually navigate to the deface website to find a vulnerable search form. We can see that it was right here. Search, I mean, gifsearch.php. And we can just go directly to the website. This thing is really driving me crazy. So I, we can just go to search, gift search right here. Once we go to gift search, <clears throat> get gift search. Oh man, this thing is slow as dirt. And you can see right up here, once you click on that, you can see gift search.php. That was number one. And number two, analyze a SQL error. So I think I left that open just because of that. And thank God I did be, because it would have drove me crazy. So right here, ODBC driver 17 for SQL server. That's the answer for number two. And the answer for number three, if you inject the one equal one condition into the gift search, we did that here, I believe. And we can see the right up here and we can see the flag is right here. So that's the flag for number three. And for number four, let's go ahead and go back to our command shell whenever we can see it. All right, so let's come back here and we can CD now to administrator. Can I do CLS? No. All right, so DIR here, and we can CD to desktop, and we can do DIR, and inside of here, we have this note.txt. We can type T-Y-P-E dot note. Oh, Jesus. T-Y-P-E. Okay, and then inside of here, we can see the flag right down here. Okay, so that's the flag for number four. And now we have to restore the home page to get the flag for number five. So we can just do DIR again. And there is a batch file right here to restore the web page. So let's restore underscore website.bat. Once we run that, we, it's going to restore. You can see the init pub www root. That's for IIS for a default on, on Microsoft. So let's come back here. Let's go to the home page now. Uh, let's just, I don't know why this is so slow. This thing is annoying me. I'm just annoyed overall because I did this and then I wasn't, I didn't have my, my damn record on. And here we go, bada bing, bada boom. Obviously I was a lot more excited before, um, but that is the flag for number four. And then that completes the room today. So I thank you so much. And I apologize that I was not as thrilled because I was a little upset that my recording wasn't recording for like 25 minutes while I was explaining a lot of this stuff. 
But thank you so much for viewing. Hopefully that was informative and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.